it is March 23rd and what a surprise snow day we had today, right? I hope you guys maybe were able to go out and play for a little while in the snow. Um, today we're going to read, We Were Tired of Living in a House. And I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little bit tired of my house. But I'm staying put because I know that's what I'm supposed to do right now. Before I start reading the story though, I want to tell you a little bit about this book. You know that I love my books. And you know I take care of my books. This is one of my actual books from when I was your age. So this book, which is in really good shape, this book is about 50 years old. All right? And I want to show you what can happen when you take care of your books. So before I start reading, take a look at this. So this book here is a Winnie the Pooh book. Now you guys are thinking of Winnie the Pooh as being a cartoon, but that's not how it started. Winnie the Pooh started as a set of storybooks and they were written around 1924, which happens to be the year that my dad was born. My dad would be 96 if he were still living today. So this book, I'm not exactly sure when this actual one was printed, but this book in my hands is probably at least 90 years old. And this book was my father's own book. And I know that for sure because he wrote his name in it. My dad's name was Michael. So this is a 90 year old book and it's in pretty good shape. It's very delicate, but all the pages are still in it. It's in great shape. This is another book that belonged to my dad. This is from a twin series. This book was first published 100 years ago. This actual book again is not 100 years old. This book also is probably about 90 years old. It's in even better shape than the Winnie the Pooh book and this book I also owned when I was younger. I read this book many, many times, and look at what great shape it's in. None of the pages have come out. The binding is still together. Great shape. Last thing, this book belonged to my great uncle Sam, and this actual book in my hands is 120 years old. Yes, this book is more than 100 years old, this actual book. And it is also in really, really good shape. Look at that. You'd have to be careful. Some of the pages are starting to come off from the binding. You'd have to be very careful with it, but you could still read this book. It's 120 years old. So look what can happen when you take good care of your books. All right, enough of that. Let's find out what happens when you get tired of living in a house. We were tired of living in a house. So, we packed a bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and mittens and woolen caps. And we moved to a tree. We liked our tree. Oops, sorry guys. There was always a breeze in the afternoon that rippled through our roof. Above in a branch lived a speckled bird who sang all day for the sake of a song. And our roof in the autumn turned scarlet and gold. We liked our tree. until we tumbled out. So, we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and mittens and scarlet leaves and gold. And we moved to a pond. We liked our pond. We built a raft and floated about among the reeds and lily pads. Below fish darted, dragonflies above, and pond frogs sang with us on summer nights. We liked our pond. until we sank. So, 
so we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend. And we moved to a cave. We liked our cave. We slept on beds of cool green moss. We hunted for blackberries in the woods. We dipped our water from the brook and roasted walnuts over a fire. When we weren't busy, we explored. We liked our cave. Until we met the bears. So, we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend and precious stones that caught and held the sun. And we moved to the sea. We like the sea. We built a castle on the shore from salty water and warm sea sand with turrets and towers and moats about. We hunted for treasure and dove in the waves and slept to the pleasant songs of the surf. We liked our castle on the shore. But the tides kept washing us out to sea. So we packed our bags with sweaters and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend and precious stones that caught and held the sun and seashells singing like the surf. And we went home to live in a house. And that's the end. So if you were in school with me on that last day, on the 13th, I was able to give you a journal to bring home. How about if you take out that journal and write to me about where you would like to live if you were gonna move out of your house. If you weren't in school with me on the 13th and I did not give you a journal, just get out a piece of paper or a notebook that you have at home and, and write a story. Write a story about going to live somewhere that is not a house. I hope you guys are having a good evening. Be kind to each other. I love you. Good night.